Today's show is doing a full face of makeup using Wet n Wild products. Um, they're all natural, they're PETA approved, and well, I'm not sure they're all natural, but anyway, they're non irritating, I'll put it that way. And so, you know, it's a great makeup because let's face it, when you wear makeup every day, let's say, 90 days goes by that's 90 makeup applications if you're using the extreme high-end makeup um, that may only have 50 to 60 uses before you run out you'd have to be buying you know hundreds of dollars every every month or two on makeup you'd be constantly out so for every day you just need something easy it's extremely hot outside it's really humid it's like 73 percent humidity and so um, I tend to use the Wet n Wild every day because it feels great on my face, especially when my allergies are acting up, which they are right now, and I have them on my skin as well, so it's just very non-irritating. So anyway, if you want to see how I did this look, and also with the cheap hairspray and the cheap makeup, uh, just keep watching. Haha, <laughs> the Wet n Wild's on 40% off sale at Rite Aid. I swear, they have the sale every five to six weeks, and you can really pick up a lot of items when they have that great 40% off sale. I love it. I stopped by this morning to pick up a couple extra items of Wet n Wild so that I could do a complete makeup look using only Wet n Wild products, and I picked up the contour powder and a blush because I didn't have that. I normally use another brand. Okay, so these are the products I got, and I ended up spending $11.05, and that's with the 40% off Rite Aid sale, and then I also have a discount of 10% off additional price, and so basically to go over what I got, the eyebrow pencil right here, I got it in color 621A, and it ended up being $1.19. And then this one is the next one, which is the black felt tip eyeliner crown. And this is in the color 875B in uh, black noir. Then this next product right here is the contour palette contour. And that one was $2.99 after the discount. And then the next thing I got was this black uh, pencil here for the eyeliner, the coal crown in color 601A, which is baby's got black. And then I got this blush right here in color 325B, pearlescent pink. And that blush was $1.79. And then this right here is a lip liner it was 89 cents and the color is 664 C 664 C so yeah all of those would have normally been $17 and then with the 40% off um, they added up to just $11.05 um, including tax and then including my discount so really good price so today I'm actually not going to use any foundation because it's so hot, but I just want to show what my favorite Wet n Wild foundations are. Um, I already have these. This is uh, Sun Kissed and this one's Natural. These are a tinted moisturizer and they're fantastic. However, when it's extremely hot, I feel like, I, you know, it's very humid today too. It's about almost 90 degrees. I think the humidity is like 73%. So I was like, I have the fan on. And so I tend to not wear foundation on really hot days. I just wear concealer and powder. But um, another foundation I really like is this uh, Wet n Wild Coverall. It's really, really good. And I'll, I'll put the colors below. That way I can go a little quicker. Um, I also like their liquid concealer. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and put on right now, actually. So this is actually color 814 beige and I just go ahead and I take some out. It's just easier and I put some on my hand and then I go ahead and I'm going to also use this to spot it all over my face. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take this mirror and I'm going to go ahead and 
Yeah, just blend it in. And I also bring it out a bit right here. So now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and take it and, you know, just put it around the nose um, where I have redness. Um, definitely on my nose because my nose is always really red basically. And then any places where I have redness in my cheeks. Um, so I'm right here on the chin. Yeah, top right here, put some up here, I always do it right here down the lines, and just going to put some up there, Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and pat it and blend it all in. So I'm using a little bit of concealer on top of the eyelids, basically as a primer since I'm not using primer today. Okay, so I'm just going to keep working it in until it's all done. I actually decided after that soaked in to add a second coat of concealer because I'm getting some uh, dark circles showing through. I always have the biggest dark circles. So I'm just going to kind of blend it out to feather it a bit. almost running out here so yeah okay so I'm gonna keep working that in I get really big pores like right here so I always kind of like really smush it in the pores like get them get it down in there and then just kind of uh, feather this out and kind of pat it out so obviously I have some dark circles peeking through a little bit but I'm gonna try some of that contour powder um, on top of them and powder to see if I can lighten it up a little bit further but that's kind of anyway that's pretty much it for me with the concealer right now so I let that soak in for about 10 minutes and I always do that with concealer and foundation. Uh, it just takes a while to really soak in. If you try to put the powder on it while it's too wet, um, it gets really like uh, globby basically. So next um, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild powder and I'm actually going to use two colors. One of them is the light medium color and then this one is medium. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the medium on my whole face and I'm going to put the light medium under my eyes just to kind of help lighten the dark circles and use it a little bit as a highlighter basically. So that's what I'm doing next. So I'm going to powder right now with the medium if you can see that color. And I don't circularly or circular motion the powder on. Oh, some people do that but it actually agitates your skin and makes the hair stick up and kind of gives you an, an even finish. So you want to just go down actually with the powder um, to lay your hairs flat if you start lifting up all the flaky skin and all the cells basically and hairs. It's going to just not lay as smooth so anyway. Uh, go down the way with the, the hairs grow basically is the way I was taught. It's 
For this, I use kind of an angle brush too. I I like the angle brush because it kind of gets in the little corners really well. And then anywhere where there's a little redness, I get like a little rosacea, I go ahead and put on extra powder. I feel like this medium matches pretty good when my skin's a little tan for the summer. So I'm skipping the eyes right now. And then I go ahead and put it over the eyebrows because it just gives the pencil or eyebrow makeup something to stick to a little bit better. I'm not using any primers today or anything like that because in the summer I don't because they tend to kind of make me feel suffocated in my face a little bit and I just like a natural feeling. This is just for an everyday makeup because for every day, besides the fact I'm having, you know, allergies, um, it's summer right now and it's really, really hot. And so I also get skin allergies with the spores and the little allergen pollens that land on your skin will actually make me break out in a rash. So when I come home, I always have to shower and change my clothes. But um, lately my skin's been a bit inflamed, so I've really been using this Wet n Wild because I'm not allergic to it. It's fantastic, and like I said, it's PETA approved, so I feel it's more natural. The only thing I really don't like about Wet n Wild is the name. Um, doesn't it kind of sound like a bad porno movie? But it's a great cosmetic and it's natural. And it's one of my favorites, just for being extremely comfortable and lightweight and I can wear it all day. You do have to touch it up. I, I notice it does tend to fade after a couple hours, for example. So, you know, it's not as long wearing, but then again, it's just extremely affordable for everyday wearing. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh, lighter color, it's light medium, so it's just like a shade lighter. And also, always smooth. Smooth your wrinkles before you put the powder on. And then hold your skin open. Don't let it get scrunched up. That way when you release it, you've put the powder on when your, your wrinkles are flat, um, and then you won't get that subtle, dim, fine lines and wrinkles look from the powder. It's like you don't want to add the powder like over your wrinkles without smoothing it out and hold, it, hold them open and then powder them really good. Okay, so since this is a lighter shade, I'm actually going to use this a little bit as a contour right now. And then I'm going to kind of pinch it. There you go. I haven't been getting much sleep, so I have like really bad dark circles. But anyway, it's like I don't worry about it too much for this every day. Next, I'm going to go ahead and apply the lip liner. Just. Ooh, that's pretty bright. actually really soft. I already kind of bent the tip.
so I just filled it in. This is a lot brighter pink than what's on the stick on the paint outside. <laughs> so anyway, um, I always fill in the whole lips because it just provides a really good base and that way if you're drinking coffee it doesn't wear off in the middle and look funny basically and then next is my favorite lip stain I love this one from wet n wild I also always prefer lip stains because they last better and they don't get all over your teeth and they just kind of soak in and stain your lips so anyway it's really pretty over that hot pink kind of color so that's these two so yeah pretty bright and bold lip actually so I just opened this eyebrow pencil I've never used it before I literally just took it off and I tested the color right there so here goes it's really soft especially today it's so hot Gotta do a very light touch. Oh my goodness. Hmm, I don't know about that color. Hmm. It's almost a little too green. I don't know if I like it. Hold on. Let me do the other one to match. <laughs> They're green. I don't know what to say. I don't think this is the this is the only choice of color. Hold on. Uh. Uh oh. I don't know. That yeah. They're too green. Okay. I'm gonna have to fix these. I was just gonna see if I brushed them in a bit. If it's gonna be fixed. yeah the color no but you know what I have this this is I've used this a lot um, it's their little eyebrow kit so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of wipe it a little bit and um, see if I can fix the color cuz yeah it looks a little weird <laughs> hey mistakes happen in makeup right actually on in the daylight and when I look in my mirror they look okay but on camera they're just looking green so I'm just gonna um, go over them a little bit with this uh, paper towel to kind of lighten them a little bit okay so now I'm gonna I'm gonna use the middle color right here. I've used this before. I mean, you can tell I've had this for years. It's a little more neutral. I mean, why would they put so much yellow and green undertone on that eyebrow pencil? Who has green eyebrows? Nobody. Like, nobody. It should be more of a neutral brown. Like a taupe, basically, like a light taupe. Yeah, like it should be this color. You know, this isn't green. Wet and Wild, if any of you are watching my little video, you need to add, take out the yellow and put more of a matte neutral. Just saying. Okay, I'm gonna work on evening these out. Oh my god, they're dark. Okay, I'm gonna work on them a little bit. Boy, babe, they're dark. Um, quite honestly, my MAC Lingering is the best eyebrow pencil there is in the whole world. I think it's really difficult. I did just buy this NYX eyebrow pencil though that I love as much as Lingering. It's about $10 though. But I was just trying to do all wet and wild makeup here, but I'm not too crazy about their eyebrows right now. And my eyebrows are like really dark right now. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'm going to come back to them and see if I can lighten them up after I put my eyeshadow on. 
Maybe I'll add some powder. We'll see how to lighten them up here in a second. I don't know why I'm trying to make about live on camera here. I must be crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna take uh, this medium here eyeshadow or face powder, and I'm just gonna go like this and just see if I can kind of lighten them up a little. I don't need to be like 80s <laughs> with those giant dark brows we all had in the 80s. Okay, that actually helped a little bit. This is a little elf brush for a dollar. Yeah, that helped a little. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave them for now. And I'm just going to have to go back to them at the end. <laughs> okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and try this brand new. I just opened it. This uh, contouring palette. So it has like the light color and it has like the contour. So hopefully this is a little better than the eyebrows. <sighs> yeah. Looks pretty good. to do that jawline. Yeah, and then I just kind of feather it down a little bit. Okay. It's awfully powdery. Um, so, next I'm going to go ahead and do this uh, blush. Got to open it. Oops. This is what it looks like. It's pretty. It's like a beautiful rose. So I'm just using my Lauren Hutton brush here. You know, all my makeup brushes don't match. I find that there's no one brand that has the brush I need. Like, I can't replace this blush brush. You know, you want everything to match, but I've noticed that some brushes are irreplaceable. You know, there's no similar brush in the line that matches. So I've almost thought about sanding all the handles and like spray painting on black or something. That way they all match. Some of my brushes I've had since 1988. Took a few shampoo them and condition them with human shampoo. They really last. Oops, sorry about that. Actually, I think that's really pretty. Um, I know it's a bit heavy, but I'm going to blend it all at the end. And so now, oh, you know what? Let me go get that. Let me go get the highlighter brush. So now I'm going to go ahead and use this vanilla color and use it under my circles to lighten them up and also as a highlighter. Or I'm going to attempt to. It's my first time ever using it, so hope it works. Ooh, that's pretty light. I'm gonna make like pinch it. I normally put just a little on top right there. Oh my goodness. This is going to take some blending here. I'm going to go ahead and use this eyeliner right now. This is in color black brown. And I've actually already had this one. On my lid, I'm wearing Sweet as Candy 381B eyeshadow palette, and I'm wearing the pink color. It's like a frosty, kind of a peachy toned pink. And as a highlighter, I'm wearing their other palette called Silent Treatment 335. 
and I'm wearing the light beige color under the brow bone on that one. So here I'm just doing a basic eyeliner and I'm going underneath the lash line and then I did this but I'm actually going to add the pen too to kind of wing it out but um, I usually put that over it. It just gives kind of a brown so the colors kind of blend together for a bit of a softer look. All black can be a little harsh for daytime so now I'm going to do the other eye. So I have this eyeliner on now on both eyes and also I went back into the restroom and took some paper tissue and really scrubbed down the eyebrows to try to lighten them up because they're quite dark so I think it helped quite a bit. Okay so I just took the black out of the package here. So I got the fine line too. They have like a thicker lined one but That is really nice. I really like that. That is really well pigmented. So I went ahead and drew out a little V right now and then I'm just going to fill it in. The black looks really nice. I actually really, really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye now. The eyeliner is on. It is always such a challenge to get your eyeliner to match on both sides. <laughs> to me, one eye is easy. It's like getting the other side to match and then you got to add a little more to this side and go back and forth. Um, you know, so anyway, that's always a, a challenge. And then I actually have the brown. So I'm going to go just a little black here in the corner, a tiny little bit. Ah. Actually loving this black felt tip pen it's great it has a really thick pigment or dark black pigment and I think it's really good so I'm gonna go back um, and try to use some of this eyeliner on these brows Yeah, I think this might be a better color. It's still a little dark. You know, it's just really hard to match high-end products, <laughs> you know, with like affordable products. Especially when it comes to like the color, the pigment, and blendability, but this is not too, I mean, this isn't too bad. It's not like going to a photo shoot or something so you know it's where you really need the high-end pigment you know with the taking a photo shoot okay so next 
You know, I got this mascara um, from Wet n Wild quite a long time ago. I also got it on the 40% off sale, and I'm pretty sure I got it for about a dollar. I used this yesterday for the first time, and it was fantastic. In fact, I even like it better than my normal mascara. It is more soft, and it didn't flake, and the best part about it is it doesn't have those uh, fumes. For some reason, my eyes get toxic fumes, like... You have some chemical right there by your eye all day, even when the mascara is dry. So anyway, this, yeah, this was really black, really soft, and really flexible. And the best part, too, is sometimes I skip mascara because I'm so lazy that I just don't want to mess around with removing it at night. So I'll do my eyeliner and I'll do everything, but um, I'll skip it, but... This mascara is so soft and flexible and it really came right off at night. I have like blonde eyelashes. Okay, I'm going to do two coats and just go like uh, twirl it basically and not go like that because that puts air in your mascara and I heard it dries it out. It's a very small wand with very small little plastic bristles but it combs through the lashes pretty well and separates them. Okay, now I gotta let them dry. I can't open my eyes because um, my lashes on the bottom are so long they'll s touch my face. So I have to hold them like this for like a few minutes till it's dry. So since it's daytime and I'm just going for a day look, I'm gonna go ahead and use this blush again, but as an eyeshadow in my crease. So I usually just use this little fluffy brush for the crease. Okay, so I'm not putting any more product. I'm just going to use this to blend. It probably still has a little bit of that light beige color, basically, on the brush. So I'm just going to kind of blend that down. And then I'm going to... This is so pretty. Um, I got this a while back. I I've actually bought this many times for many years. Many times. And... It's kind of a frosty rose, I guess. So I'm gonna, I blotted this with a tissue and I always top with this color. This is so pretty, it's like really sparkly. The color is Red Sensation Rouge 577A from Wet n Wild. See how pretty? So I'm just going to take a little more powder now at the end and just kind of repowder. I actually had stopped in between this. Um, some work issues came up so I had to stop and work because I work on customers emailing me and whatnot. So I'm just going to go
I'm just kind of blending this right now with just this medium powder. And I stopped like an hour in the middle of the video. <laughs> anyway. So, I didn't contour my nose or anything. Because I don't normally contour my nose for every day. So, let's see how that looks. I'll be back in a second with the finished look. Okay, so I'm all done. And how do you like the look? Um, I went ahead and used the cheap pair of spray too. I put in like maybe four barrel curls in the front and tried to use the cheap hair spray. Um, so the cheap hair spray I use since today is all about cheap. Um, this Tresemme hairspray, perfectly undone, ultra brushable hold hairspray. So, such high humidity, we'll see how it lasts, because normally this is like my favorite hairspray, which is the Sebastian Reshaper anti-humidity brushable, yeah, humidity resistant hairspray. This is the bomb, but I thought, this is like almost $19, and I forget how much this hairspray costs, but I think it was like $3.99 or something like that at Food for Less, so anyway, <laughs> for just like an everyday look, and I know my eyebrows are, I don't know. I may not use the cheap eyebrow, stuff again but I guess it's good to have a backup in case you're ever out of your eyebrow pencil but anyway I think it looks pretty good and it's not irritating and wet and wild is such a great makeup if you have sensitive skin and it's so cheap like when you get that 40% off sale I literally have so much of the makeup from the 40% off sales it's almost like a dollar or two dollars per item and so anyway um, it feels great. It feels like I don't even have anything on my face. And so that's it. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it.